Hey guys, Ben here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape anything with Appify. I use Appify in a lot of my clients' automations. It's a really good tool for generating leads and just gathering a whole bunch of data. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Appify to scrape the data, turn that data into cash, and build revenue generating automations step by step. So let's dive in. So what is Appify? Essentially, Appify is just a marketplace for ready-made scrapers. You can just scrape from any website. You can see here LinkedIn, Google Maps, Instagram, websites, TikTok, Facebook. And it's all created by these people here. So Mr. Cheap Scraper, Future Creator, um, Appy Maestro, API Maestro. So it just allows you pretty much to use these pre-built scrapers at a really, really low cost. And you can just integrate that with make.com and use it as a data scraping tool for your clients' automations. And I'll show you exactly what I've done for clients later down the video. It actually gives you a load of options up here, which you can pick into. So for example, if, you're, if you've got a client who's a travel agency or real estate company, or they use SEO or e-commerce, let's have a look at SEO, for example. So Actually, this is a really cool one, a Google search results scraper. So for example, you could go on something called Crunchbase. You've probably heard of it. And essentially, this gives you a lot of industry insights, news. You can see here, find Web3 companies that are likely growing. So for example, you could actually scrape the fastest growing SaaS companies. And you probably know that these fast growing companies are struggling with quite a few things maybe some admin roles that you could automate yourself. Hey, and you could personalize that email. Hey, noticed you guys have grown really quickly. Put it through perplexity, put it through the cold emailing system. I noticed you're grown really, really quickly. This is what we do for companies to help them deal with that scalability. Is it worth a quick chat? We could use this look for maybe if you've got your own e-commerce store, you could see which items, which products are trending, constantly have that um, scraping every day or twice a day and you know which is your next winning your next hero product for you to sell there's so many use cases so you could actually reach out to for example e-commerce platforms e-commerce stores and you say hey i noticed you're selling in x niche health and beauty fitness whatever sports i have an automation here which tells you which product which item is about to explode is that worth a quick chat and there's so many different things in fact i'll actually build that out in another video so i can show you that easily but you could literally just look through these and your mind as i know mine does especially is just constantly thinking automation automation what can i create to then sell to companies as a actually a really high value automation because these these will be cheap to run cheap to create, cheap to run. I'm talking just a few dollars, just a few pounds. So if you can just flick through this and decide what automation you can make using this data, it's actually a gold mine. So I'm on the e-commerce section now as well. And for example, if I was just to run through this and think of something that would come to my head for e-commerce stores, you could scrape reviews and identify trending products or find common complaints and just use it to understand which products are actually working really well at the moment and what people are very happy with because if you're running an e-commerce store you want a sort of a hero product or a main product that does really well and people are really happy with you could use this to spy on your competitors ad campaigns find out which ones are working really well for competitors which ones aren't and the ones that are working well you can maybe repurpose there's so much here you could do and automate for people let's take a look at social media so these are just scrapers really really useful a youtube scraper say if i was running out of video ideas i could potentially use this a lot of people already have done something very similar use this to scrape videos that are either new or videos that have already done really well and sort of repurpose them to make them my own material something i might do because i'm running out of videos ideas <laughs> jobs indeed scraper now this actually funnily enough this was what got me into youtube so i've actually created an automation which scrapes people that are advertising for jobs for example at the time i had a a content generator which would automatically post on x twitter and someone else did a video about how you could scrape 
LinkedIn jobs who are advertising for like new business development people or you know sales directors account managers account executive stuff like that and sell them lead gen system which is exactly what i was doing through this scraper but selling a content system for people that were advertising for social media managers etc so i thought crikey someone else has got in with the system i've had for a couple months it's time for me to now start making content about the automations i've made and the successes i've had with it so Thank you to that person. So I've just gone on to travel. I've seen TripAdvisor, Scraper. It's an unofficial TripAdvisor API. It's a data extraction tool, able to get data on hotels, restaurants, things to do, vacation rentals. So you could create a whole software as a service, a whole SaaS product with just this on uh, behind. You could create a website using Bolt.new. People put in where they want to go. And on the back end, you've got this scraping TripAdvisor, which then returns back to the website everything that TripAdvisor thinks they should do, advice on restaurants, hotels, attractions, tours. You can literally create a whole SaaS, a whole website, anything with stuff like this on the back end and make.com. It's incredible. Anyway, I'll show you exactly what I've used before to, um, and I use this for a lot of my clients at the moment. So so a lot of my clients already are maybe scraping Apollo and getting their data from there because it's the biggest database. And that's perfect. When someone says to me they're already scraping Apollo, I think, well, cha-ching, because I can just automate that whole process. I know it probably takes them too long. They probably don't know exactly what they're doing. They're having to then upload it into Instantly or Smart Lead or whatever, and campaigns are just really annoying and they don't really have any clue what they're doing. So that's where I know I could sell them this automation. And it's done it so many times before. So if you look into here, there's a Apollo scraper, scrape up to 50,000 leads. Yeah, so this one I've integrated into a lot of my clients' workflows. And it's really, really straightforward. So if you were to do it manually from just, just from Appify, you'd put in the search URL of the Apollo scrape that you want to do, the number of records you want, either if you want the work emails or and the personal emails, timeout you'd probably want to set no timeout memory and you'd press save and start and it would go but if you wanted to integrate this with make.com you'd have to go to the api api endpoints and you'd have to run the actor using your api token so i'll show you what, what that looks like so make.com actually have their own um appify module you can set up a webhook to either watch the actor or task runs you can run an actor or run a task now i think this one doesn't actually work if you were to run an actor so you'd have to create a task at the top here get your api key and do it that way so we'll try and get our api key together i think it'll be settings api and you get your personal token so just copy that come into here We'll do run an actor, add, put it in there. So what you want to do, yeah, create a task, give it the unique name, the title, press continue, or whatever, polish scraper, continue. Go into here, delete, run a task. Oof, I've got loads on it. <laughs> Sweet. And what you'd then do is already have the search URL in here. But what you can actually do, if you show advanced settings, you can put the API, uh, sorry, the Apollo search URL in there. It will show you how to do it, I believe. If you go on JSON. You can just copy that, paste it in there, clean it a bit in the JSON formatter. Like so, copy back, paste, and there you go. So get personal emails false, work emails true, and then you'd put the URL in here. So it's actually really handy if you had the client. My bad, not sure where the camera died there. Um, you can just create a custom webhook. In the app that I've shown you, 
you can just have all the data sent to there. So they'll input the Apollo search URL. That will then gather the data and you could dynamically input from the webhook the search URL. And that's how you'd start the automation. They'd input the search URL that they've done from a scrape into the app, press start automation, that would trigger it, that would run the task. Then you'd have another scenario. You'd have to set up another one, which because there's a webhook here already, I can't do it. So if I just show you like so, you do watch task runs, create the webhook and just watch for the task that you've just set up and then carry on with the automation. You'd again, you'd then to get the, all the items you choose, get data set items. And this would literally, you just pass the data set ID from here and no limit. And it would just return all the items in one operation that you've just scraped from the Apollo search URL that's been input. And then from there, you can go through to create in all the personalizations with perplexity, open AI, cord, whatever you want to do and get them added into your email sending tool. And that's actually all I've got time for since my camera keeps dying and it's really annoying. But I hope this sort of gives you an idea of what you can actually do with Appify. It is a great tool. It's easy to integrate with mate.com. You can just set it up by having the app, sorry, having the user input whatever they need into the app for you to actually run the task and then set up another scenario to watch for the, when that actor or that task is finished get all the items and carry on through the flow with whatever automation it is you're selling them, whether it's a lead gen or to e-commerce, like I mentioned before, et cetera, et cetera. So you found this useful, drop it in the comments. Let me know what sort of automation you might be looking at building. Um, and yeah, if you liked it, drop me a like, give me a subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.